Hello and welcome to another bit of Satoshi's Daily Dose of News. Uh, today's date is Wednesday the 24th of January 2024, the year of a million transactions per second or more. Buy BSV.Live, probably the best place to buy Bitcoin SV online, the original protocol and genuine Bitcoin. Right, let's get on to this article here. So again, this is uh, related to the offer that uh, Craig Wright has put out to COPA. So let's just see what uh, response this has got. So this is by Jordan Atkins five hours ago. Uh, titled here, uh, Satoshi Trial, Copa versus Wright. Craig Wright makes bombshell offer to settle Copa case. Ooh. Right then, here we go. Just under two weeks until the Satoshi Trial brought by Copa, the Crypto Open Patent Alliance, is set to get underway, Dr. Wright has issued a public, non-negotiable offer to settle the Copa case. His passing off claims against Coinbase and Kraken and his database, um, database rights claim against BTC Core, an offer that would put an end to those litigations and prevent BTC, BCH and ABC from claiming to represent Satoshi Nakamoto's original Bitcoin. The settlement offer, if accepted by Copa um, and Coinbase, Kraken and BTC Core defendants involves Dr. Wright's agreeing not to pursue any claim connected to his database rights and copyrights in the BTC, BCH and ABC blockchains. These are the rights which raise, which arise from his invention and ownership of the Bitcoin blockchain and would effectively conclude Copa versus Wright and all the other cases. In return, his counterparties, which include the partnership of developers and entities collectively make up BTC, must recognise the original purpose for Bitcoin's small casual transactions, as set out in the white paper, and scaling on-chain, as confirmed by writings made by Satoshi in 2008. And that BTC, BCH and ABC now have separate purposes and uses not contemplated by Satoshi Nakamoto. They must also stop claiming that they represent the original Bitcoin as envisioned by Satoshi Nakamoto and publicly acknowledge that the intended purpose of their Bitcoin or their creating Bitcoin was to create a system to provide micropayments to allow for the chronologically ordered validation of transactions to facilitate scalability. Perhaps most significantly, the parties to the settlement, including Dr. Wright, must give undertakings that they will ensure that Bitcoins shall be used for the benefit of humankind broadly and not to launder funds, evade tax or assist in any other illicit behaviours. They must also agree to use their best endeavours to comply with all national and international laws and regulations in force where they operate including any laws relating to money laundering and anti-terrorist financing or similar initiatives where exploiting and developing Bitcoins and its technology, and where required and possible actively seek to create code to ensure compliance. They will also be unable to create copy fork or uh, create copy fork or otherwise a new Bitcoin database and must commit to using best endeavours to ensure no third party does the same. It's not about Satoshi, it's about Bitcoin. It's a sweeping offer, and from the perspective of a group of developers staring at the prospect of a multi-million, uh, multi-millions of pounds in legal fees and, presumably, much harsher terms from Dr. Wright, should he prevail in February's trial, it might be considered a generous one. Why, then, is Dr. Wright making it now? He makes his motivations clear in the settlement offer itself, saying that it is done in order to refocus his personal priorities, which include 1. Continuing to develop intellectual property for the benefit of blockchain technology and beyond. 2. To ensure Bitcoin, in particular Bitcoin Satoshi Vision BSV, plays a key role in the development of payment infrastructure. And thirdly, to spend more time with family amongst other things. In keeping with what Dr. Wright has repeatedly emphasised over the years, the settlement offer also says that he wants to continue to be a force for good by encouraging the open commercialisation of technologies in a competitive and fair market where intellectual property rights are respected and exploited. It is therefore my intention to ensure that the relevant Bitcoin Core, BTC, Bcrash BCH and Fisher Price Cash ABC databases and assets can operate and compete fairly in, a power, in parallel with BSV, which I hope can compete in a global community going forward, uh, reads the opening statement. Again, I mean, I think that's quite funny because Craig, um, I'm pretty sure with this offer coming out, uh, he knows that Terranode is going to be launched soon which solves the uh, the horizontal scaling problem 
which is a huge issue um, in the tech industry that nobody has solved yet. So with that coming on Bitcoin, everybody is just simply going to be using Bitcoin for that, for the Terra node, which is um, horizontal scaling for, techno for uh, technology. It's going to be absolutely massive. So this is probably going to be one of those, uh, you know, don't say I didn't give you a chance and don't say I didn't warn you kind of things. We're looking back on this. Don't say I wasn't fair with you because he hasn't been more than fair. Um, in addition to the uh, indications given in the settlement offer itself, Dr. Wright expands further in a press release shared with CoinGeek and posted to Dr. Wright's personal blog. Uh, blog post. Uh, the focus of my various litigations to date has never been on revealing my pseudonymous identity as Satoshi Nakamoto, but on mandating the Bitcoin, uh, that Bitcoin remains faithful to its central principles. These are set out in the Bitcoin white paper, today widely recognized as the authoritative foundation for all forms of Bitcoin. It describes a peer-to-peer -peer electronic cash system, focusing on enabling small casual transactions, known as micropayments, directly between parties without the need for a financial intermediary. This settlement offer perseveres my objective of maintaining the integrity of, Bitcoins, of the Bitcoin system as it was initially developed, while limited for all parties, the needless expense of a lengthy high court trial, which would take out a uh, collective focus away from supporting, adopting and advancing digital currency technologies. Not just my own work, but those of potential good faith competitors, my legal opponents included. Taken together, the offer accords uh, the offer accords entirely with uh, Dr. Wright's public statements on his life work and ongoing litigation. It shouldn't be forgotten that none of Dr. Wright's litigation to date has been about destroying anything. It has always been about enforcing the legal rights afforded to him and the uh, inventor of Bitcoin in order to stop the name being used to mislead people into investing in unaffiliated products or worse, products which are intentionally designed to flout the law, like BTC and BCH and ABC. Ensuring that Bitcoin is not used to enable crime has been a particular sticking point for Dr. Wright, whose history as a trainer and consultant for law enforcement around the world is well documented. He has spoken in the past, entering a deep abyss of despair after he saw, after handing Bitcoin over to caretakers, that it had begun to be used for, uh, in the drug trade and other illegal use cases, as he put it in a blog post from February 2019, quotes here, the first thing I found was Bitcoin being used in the dark web. I discovered the creation I had given birth to, something I designed to bring light, was being used for all the worst reasons. Not only drugs, but people. One last chance, uh, as a um, subtitle. As for the timing of this offer, so close to the beginning of the trial after years of pre-trial skirmishing, it perhaps suggests a degree of confidence in the evidence that has been taken um, that has been tabled on the part of Dr. Wright. Presumably, such a settlement could have been agreed at any point in the previous months and years. But this is the first time such an offer could be made when both sides have had the opportunity to see all of the evidence that will appear in February's trial. It wouldn't be the first time the weight of the available evidence has caused one of Craig's legal opponents to fold. Just ask Peter McCormack. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's true. Of course, there's every possibility his counterparties reject the settlement or are unable to come to a unanimous agreement to accept it, as seems to be required by the terms of the offer. Should that happen, then Dr. Wright appears ready to, uh, ready and able to prove in court, uh, in a court of law, that he is Satoshi Nakamoto. If the trial ends the way Dr. Wright expects, then it's um, tough to imagine his legal uh, adversaries getting nearly as generous terms as are now on the table. The full, st um, the full settlement offer can be found here, which is what we went through earlier. Wow. Awesome. So when he's talking about competing, Craig is not the kind of person to say, oh, I'm going to compete with you unless he knows he's already won. <laughs> uh, and and it's utility that wins out. Like I said, you can, you can twist the truth, you can manipulate uh, results, but utility is undeniable. And uh, if something is useful, it's valuable. If something is useless, it's worthless. So he's basically making BSV the most useful um, uh, technology. And not only that, it's the only one that uh, complies with uh, commodities laws. So, you know, Commodities Futures Trading Commission, whereas BTC, uh, BCH and ABC, they're all economically worthless security offerings. 
um, and have a central point of authority or control because they're not commodities. The uh, the only commodity is the original protocol and genuine Bitcoin that he designed um, with the number one legacy address um, that simply now has the ticker symbol B3 due to uh, social engineering and skullduggery um, on behalf of its uh, on behalf of its opponents. So. There we go. That's what I've got to say on that. Hope you enjoyed it. And uh, as ever, so remember, uh, depending on the, uh, depending if the COPA uh, accept this offer, um, uh, meaning that they're uh, now admitting that uh, their forks are not Bitcoin, whew, you know, what are they going to do? Uh, but if they, if they don't accept it, then we've got the largest court case in financial history coming up on the 5th of February 2024. Stay tuned. We'll bring you more. And until then, be aware, take care, stay safe out there, and we'll see you in the next one.